so we have two uh, gypsum stacks, uh, the west stack and the east stack. The west stack has been closed, uh, so it was capped and covered uh, back in the early 2000s, I believe 2004 time frame. Um, the east gypsum stack is the white stack. Uh, that stack is still open, um, and it has three ponds associated with it, ponds three, four, and five. That's to, and say a moat that we call it the water return dish that surrounds the gyp stack as well. Uh, that has wastewater in it. Uh, the stack continues to generate wastewater uh, by uh, stormwater runoff as well as leachate uh, as the water percolates through the stacks when it rains. Um, and we are collecting that water and treating it. The water mainly has uh, low pH, so anywhere from, from a two to a three. Uh, it also has high levels of phosphorus, uh, ammonia, and, and some levels of fluoride in it that we treat and uh, uh, take out of, of, the, of the water before you discharge. The pH is the acute toxicity issue. Um, if we discharge low pH water into the bayou, that's what causes the, the fish kills that we've seen in the past uh, during uncontrolled releases. When we do an emergency bypass, we still discharge into Bayou Cassatt, uh through our diffuser, um, which is located uh, in about 35 feet of water. It's our normal uh, discharge point anyway when we do normal treatment, wastewater treatment operations. Um, there's no uh, impacts uh, to the bayou, um, to the ecosystem, and you know, that's why we continuously monitor and sample um, you know, twice a day at the eight locations. Uh, we do that uh, during, and, uh, during our bypass, and then we do it a couple days afterwards as well. The current plant property has been um, idled, shut down for the most part. Uh, the, the liquidation trust was developed during the bankruptcy as well, and they have assumed control of, of the plant property, and they're in the process of trying to, to market and resell the property.